Alrighty. Welcome, everyone, uh, who has joined the stream. Thank you for thank you for joining. Uh, welcome to uh, UTMV D and D session. Ah. Session two. Uh, technically three, if you include the prologue. Welcome, everyone. It is great to have you. Uh, as you can hear, you can hear all the dice rolling in the background. We are all set up, and we are ready to go. So, without further ado, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the chat. I'll be checking it regularly. Um, but yeah. Uh, to, we're still going to be hanging out in... Um, and under Renato today, uh, that's... Uh, but yes, we will, uh, we will be continuing. Alright, anyway, let's turn this music down. I love you. Who is... How am I hearing that? Hello? I love my friends, too. Okay, we're just gonna. All right. And well, hey, hey. Hello. We're going. Hello. Welcome everyone to the stream. We are back in under Renato. Let me actually change colors real quick. Actually, no. Never mind. That'll be too hard. All right. Oh, what? What? What looks good? Why? I might do more of her, but other than that... Alright, let me... Let me turn you, you guys up that, real quick. You that, that squares. That's not snoo snoo, that's snoo squares. Snoo no, squares. What? Alright. This thing. The, oh, the, getting... no, the, the safe for work enforcement waffle. I love that. Uh, getting... What, what is Neo? Uh, you'll find out eventually. Yeah. Um, yeah. as we got we got a few new characters in the castle. Y'all can't see that. Anyway, you uh you wake up from uh I I I want you guys to roll a D six on how well you slept. Oh no. Wait, do I need to sleep? Because I'm a robot. Why is, why is my Or you boy... shut down to recharge. Okay. Why is I, his Why is his information destroyed? Wait, what are we rolling? Yeah, I don't what know why Zem just Kip? became Kit. Okay. What is my no Where's my normal details? Hold on, I oh I I, I can't. Oh, uh, hold on, it's a, it's a hold on. Uh, I, I did this just in case something like this happens. It's okay. Maybe. Why did you destroy him? What's gone wrong? Why does my thing say boo? Um. I That's don't. <laughs> Who's been messing with my calculator? Here, you have you have all of your information here on this one. Oh, ah, right. right. Thank you. I yeah, I don't know why it's that one's Skip Metaton. We'll we'll change that one. Copy copy and paste okay. it so that you have a double. Okay. Yeah. I can't believe I can't believe Kip like brainwashed him. S M. Brainwashed. <laughs> I, I just, can't like, believe Gaster, like, picked and I can't believe Devin, I can't believe my rotting deer man glitched and copied someone else. <laughs> Is that, like, an ability of his now? Can I, can I make that my fight ability? <laughs> just become <laughs> someone else? <laughs> I mean, I uh, see my if you haven't, if you haven't already, uh, it is time to roll with how well you rested. Is is there a certain advantage or check we have? Oh yeah, can we get more? Can we get uh? Can we get advantage over time because sleeping is apparently a skill? A skill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know. I'm so much whiplash. Shut it is. Pa sleep is a patience skill. Oh, I have plus four on that. So I have zero. Most small is. Does mold need to oh, No, that's sleep? a D4. I need a D6. <laughs> that, that's not a D6. It's how that's well you rested for the day ahead of you, pretty much. I got a question. Does mold need to sleep? Yes. 
Okay. Because he needs to sleep. I've been at plants before, they sleep during the winter. I got a three. I think you're still being partially dead. You are in the demi roll, right? <laughs> Where the frick is my goddamn d6? You have two sixes, don't you? Is that shitty? Yeah. I have digits. Oh, there it is. All right, yeah. <laughs> We had a lot of I rolled five oh. plus four. I got nine. You guys went quiet. Hold on. Well, I connected. Oh, oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Okay. Sweet. I got so, five plus four. Nine. You are you are free to interact with each other in your room. You realize that Grillby is not there. Oh, don't forget it on my server. Oops, I forgot to do that. <laughs> my bad. Le let me oh, just, no. uh... It's okay, it's okay, I'll do it right now. Oh. No. What's up? I cannot get rid of my funny barriers because I do not have the permission to. I can make them, but I can't get rid of them. Oh, here. Uh, yeah. may, may you please get rid of them. Oh, never Wait, mind, I can get rid of them. Where is he? Where's Chess? Where's Chess Wolfball? <laughs> you you you, <laughs> you you watch as mold small slowly emerges from a moldy cocoon. <laughs> great, great. Hello. Um, Zevin so just funny. kind of sits up. He he was like lying there like a corpse on a freaking like on the table. You know, like in a morgue. He's just lying there completely out of it all night. And he just sits up and is like, Good morning, everyone. Unbothered. That's a table? I thought that was a floor. Not, I didn't get, like, it's a bed. It's not, but he looks, he's laying there, like, perfectly, like, perfectly straight, you know, as if he was a dead body in the morgue, because he's just perfectly, just lying there all night. Uh, it's unnerving as hell. Uh, Bro sleeps like the frickin' dead. Uh, Which is kind of funny, because he is in a very unique situation. <laughs> An investigation check? Oh crap, I should have pulled up the doc. I, I believe it's integrity. Integrity? Okay, yes. Uh, I have... Yes, it is, it is integrity for investigation. So what what are you what are you investigating? I um I wanna investigate how the how the decoration is and how the smart thing is. Uh tab. Like, oh tab. Like that. Oh where Grillby was? Okay, uh, that that will be a uh, that will be a integrity check uh, with a D10. You will need to pass a five. A D10, okay. Where's the D10? Where's the D10? Where's the D10? Where's the D10? There we go. And you said five, right? Yeah, you got. There we go. Uh, the first one is a nine. Okay, uh, under, uh, you can see on top of the pillow, uh, and, uh, you can actually see some of the dust on the bed, but it's covering, it's covering a note, uh, that is written very neatly, um, that, uh, appears to have a message on it. Okay, um, so I guess it when, says, yeah, um, when you read it. It says, good morning, my friends. I won't be joining you on your mission for today as I will be working on the side job I got. I don't know if Prince Aldrich will give you any currency, but I shall take the initiative and earn some just in case. Stay safe and try not to give any trouble to Eleanor and the other assistant, Grillby. Dad's going to get milk. <laughs> He's going to get milk. <laughs> <laughs> He's never coming back. <laughs> Zev is watching this like, 
Is it common for fathers to... Whatever. Just writing down furiously in his notebook. Um, oh. Am I going to be the only one that knows sign language for this? All the boys. I literally gassed her out of character. Yeah. That's I true. I feel like with no sign language. L L sign language, language, aka wing things. Um, I think he knows both, considering I feel like he would be the type to learn sign language. I mean, if you speak in wing things, you might as well learn the alternate hand talking, right? <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can do two hands. <laughs> Beware of the man who speaks in hands. <laughs> Don't squeeze. Oh. All right. Time for go out the check chat. Oh, no. It says Shirley <laughs> is gone. Um, do we, like, explore something, or should we... Hi, Das Little Bird Brain in the chat, and Doodle Nova, uh, Tremmy's in the chat, and Grey Wolf. I'm joining, I'm approaching. Approaching terminal velocity. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, is there any other interactions that you wish, or anything that you wish to investigate or do while you are here? I'll choose me, 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 me. Devin is, you know, like, smoothing the small creases on his outfit and, like, just... Bro does not look like he's just been sleeping. He's just <laughs> back to being a stiff... He's always... He's not back to being a stiff old half-dead gazelle. He has always been a stiff old half-dead gazelle. I'm melted in a puddle on the floor. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Why is the what the dog doing? What the, what so so the far, doing? so <laughs> so far, Cat is the only one who knows where Grillby is. Grillby will glance over at Cat at the Grillby. 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 Grillby be cosmically looking uh, over like hmm. Maybe he's doing like a side job or something. Then I believe he will be occupied for the day. Yeah. I don't know. I suppose that gives us rain to go look around ourselves. Hmm. Sure, why not? I am so not climbing the tree! <laughs> just to let you all know, because <laughs> no. I will never see that again. Please. Zevin gives a, gives a soft chuckle as, as you mention the trees. <laughs> Dang it, I hate the trees. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I don't like the trees. I'm just like, yeah, I might be on the floor for now. All right. Uh, oh, wait, there's supposed to be like a, a timer of some sorts. Timer? Oh, no. Don't don't worry ominous. about it. Don't I wasn't it's supposed timer. to say that out loud. Don't worry about That's it. That's not ominous. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you know There's a timer. Totally not sus at all. hundred percent not sus. Timer for eighteen hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's just gonna be this ominous timer. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm worrying about it. <laughs> oh, it's Maybe. counting oh, up. On second thought, I'm, I'm gonna hide it. No. You, you don't get to see the timer. No. Why can't you let us see how much time we're wasting, Zell? Uh. <laughs> you remind us of the pointlessness and futility of our actions. SMH my head! <laughs> mm. Sorry. Eating dinner. Oh god. She's pro I'm probably Damn. gonna head outside then and probably gonna look around and be like, uh. Is 
Because there's nothing else to do. Might as well go look around. Seven. Um, okay. So, since... Since, uh... Oh, it's actually, um... Uh, it is, uh, Drummy's... Drummy's turn. Drummy's turn first. Oh. This is cool. Uh, I have a question. What's up? What is this chest thing? Oh, this chest? Uh, so you see, you see a very square metal chest in the corner of the room. Uh, it appears to be locked. Uh, but hmm. it's just, it's just kind of ominous. And it has a little plant over it. Oh. Can I, uh, inspect no. the plant and the chest? Okay, uh, you're gonna have to give me what two different- the plant I think it might be? Zevin will have no recognition, because in his universe, that character is a slime monster. Uh, you will have to make two different, uh, investigate, uh, patience checks, uh, one you'll have to beat a an eight, and another you'll have to beat a four. Out of what numbers? Out of ten. So that five plus four, that's a nine. For the first one. Okay. And then no, I <laughs> So I, I succeed the higher one at least. That's a nat one for the other one. Oh. Or oh, five, okay. Ones. So as you observe the plant, it appears to be uh, a type of flower. It is pink, and it looks like a rose got bred with a daisy. And it just kind of hangs over its pot a little bit, um, facing towards the ground. He would, in would kind of carefully inspect it further. Well, first I'll see what the frick does he get from the chest. Inspecting the chest first, because that doesn't uh, matter. You got that one. You just see a chest. <laughs> In fact, Fair I don't enough. even know if you see a chest. You just see, a, <laughs> like, this you gray like square. Moment, like, flat brain lagging. Like, the gray is catching up to him for a moment. You can see the life and death of the universe in his eyes. Floor realizes, ah, this is a metal box that can be opened. Fun to know. He keeps all of this silent, instead pre preferring to write it down as he then goes back to inspect the... The plant clearly concerns, like, is this the plant over? And kind of just carefully inspecting to see if it may need some form of care. The plant does seem to be on some verge of death. Does it seem dehydrated? Like, when he pokes at it gently, does it seem, like, really squishy or wilted? Uh -huh. like the plant does? Perception check with a D8, I believe. Uh, what number, which time's that? Uh, patience. Um, which then you'll have to beat a, a just uh, a four. D what? D8. That's eight. That's a dirty eight. Dirty gotcha. eight. That's what it means. That's it's like dirty twenty. Dirty twenty is when you get a twenty, but it's not a nat twenty. So it's an eight because that's what nat twenty does. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you see that the plant is uh, dehydrated and could use uh, some water and a little bit of sugar. He will pick up the plant. Is it attached to the box? It is not. He will. He will carefully take the plant, kind of lift it up, inspect it a little bit more, and it's like I. I think this needs a little bit of help. And we'll go out to get it some water. Not for the time. All right. You if it's not, you dry it up. Water. It's just stupid. He will, he will look, if, if he can get this far, will look at the water and how uh, amalgamate colored it is, and instead turn to the bar, because they might have water and sugar. Okay, uh, next off the list, uh, moving back, uh, Pierre. Fuck you, I'm sleeping still. You're sleeping still? Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Kitty. Cat, do you want to do anything? Um. I, I can't do 
Oh, did it go silent again? I can't hear any of y'all. Hold we're on. Here. Oh, there no, we, we go. No. We, we can hear you. It's Zelda. Oh, it's all good. Oh, we're good, we're good. Continue. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Trippy One. Um. I wonder if I should, like. Mm. I wonder if I could roll to see if there's, like, any places that <laughs> she's thinking of wanting to go either like it's like go it, see the castle maybe to like do some further investigating or you, you can hmm i guess i guess we'll we'll do that maybe all right so if you head towards the castle you would see the uh the guards that were there before they look a little sleepy but other than that uh, they're just hanging out. Hmm. Question, uh, does, does Neo attack us if we say something dirty? Actually, actually, yeah. Oh. And, and, or he, uh, pretty much, pro he can prohibit you to speak. As well. So uh, he's not go. someone and to mess with. Theoretically, saying balls is considered thirteen plus. <laughs> That's PG thirteen. I can say it occasionally. If I can get one F word for movie, I can say balls. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll, I'm we'll, allowed to say that. We'll come. We'll come to that when it's uh, when it's time. In the meantime, Cat uh, would walk up to the castle, and the guards would uh, open the big doors for her. Maybe he is thinking like here, here's some pointing going on around. Maybe Gilby's you know, not here to stop you from kicking down the door. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so you notice that this door is unlocked, but uh, this door and this door is locked. Stealth? Oh, I have this one. Hold on. Uh, stealth would be justice. Let's go! I, I think I got a justice! I'm a plus three. Yippee! Uh, what do I need to roll to, uh, uh, to stealth and take a peek to see what's going on? <laughs> to take a beat, you will have to be a five out of a d6. Nine minutes and twenty thirty seconds of wasting our time. What a beautiful world we live in. Uh, five, where we can waste our time. Three makes it a heavy six of eight. You you successfully uh you like footsteps, what are those? You like nobody hears you as you walk. You don't even hear yourself. Oh, <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, I cease to make noise. You are ha one foot in another reality, and the other foot half an inch floating above the ground, not making contact with <laughs> anything. This is a joke, but if Zell wants to make it canon, we <laughs> will. Just gonna shove in a little bit, so that way she could like hear and be like, mm, "I wonder what they're up to now." And As you. Uh, as you uh, sneak up to to hear the conversation inside, you would hear a familiar voice, very well known to you, uh, that of Aldrich, uh, complaining about something to a new voice that you haven't heard before. A voice that is very soft and secretive and mysterious, but still keeps it cool and submits to Aldrich's uh, big ego when he's talking. <laughs> 
But no, I don't want a list of AUs. You, you would hear uh, Aldrich um, bark. Bark, I will decide for them. They don't get to decide for themselves. The the calmer voice would uh, take a couple steps forward and say, but do you have an idea on where to send them? Uh, and then Aldrich booms. Uh, Aldrich says, I'll think of something, all right? Just go t- go check on them already. Make sure that they're not burning anything down, especially that dog. Ugh. Oh, oh no, Pierre. Pierre, you have a hater. This man kicked me. This man kicked me last time. He's an evil guy. Oh, what the hell? What did he say? Devin's gonna pull oh, like up to the face roundhouse kick Aldrich, and it's gonna be useful. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with this statement. Have uh, you ever seen how sharp a gazelle's hooves are? Yes. Puncture through the skull. Or the, the the new How voice you, like comedically decked to the floor, but it would be funny. The new voice would sigh in a very disappointing way, uh, and uh, and say, "Look, I'm sure they. Th- this is all very new to them. It's probably just exciting. Let let them let them roam their energy out a bit before we send them. Perhaps they will be more well behaved once we've connected their souls with Eleanor's reset." Aldrich, Aldrich, uh, Aldrich, uh, you, you can, you can, vi- you can visibly, you can audibly hear Aldrich rubbing his face, uh, as he, uh, as he well, says, fine, fine, just do what you need to do, and just get out of my sight. Uh, and Cat. I need you to make another stealth check. You're gonna have to beat another five, as the as footsteps come towards the door. Okay. Mm. Uh, and this one is for justice, right? Justice, yes. Okay. So another D six. Yay! Uh, let's see. Don't fail me. <laughs> Hi, random scratcher. Welcome to the chat. We're playing DB. Hey. I knew, I knew there'd be a reset. I just knew it. (laughs) You are practically invisible as you watch a a very tall and uh and muscular looking creature uh walk past you, uh but his head seems to be that of a waffle. And he, and he. What the fuck? Ooh, language. He he sighs. That character would be like, "Who said that?" And immediately see you. (laughs) (laughs) He's in character. Red eyes. (laughs) Uh, the 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 creature the the character would uh. Uh, shove his hand in his pockets and pull out uh, an elaborate set of many, many keys and uh, and insert one into the door and walk in and close the door. Keeper of the keys. Keeper of the keys. Keeper of the keys. Keeper of the keys. So, uh, that being said, we're going to uh, shift from cat and come over to who's next, uh, Prim. Uh, it is Hello. your turn. Zevin time. I have I so many names went. on the internet. Like, people keep calling me, and it, like, no, whatever, it's fine. Prim is my default one. I was gonna say, out of character, we should kill him. And I remembered that Zevin is called. I can't go, I can't have Carcosa's casual enjoyment of murder. And I can't have that, in that in, I can't have that elsewhere for, for 
little bit either because she's having regrets. But that's besides the point. I'm like, wait, it has to be out of character. I can only out of character say we should kill him because Devin probably wouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, Devin with this this flower under like in in one arm walks up to the desk and looks at part of this guy. He's like, hello, I. I would have gone to the fountain outside. The plant seems ill taken care of. But the water seems to be a little contaminated. Uh, the... It disappears. Uh, this, this particular type of Broby, uh, would shuffle in the armor that he was wearing, uh, and look the plant up and down, uh, before asking, uh, what kind of plant is it? I was hoping to find that out as well. It looks like some strange crossbreed of something in a daisy. I'm not I'm not particularly well versed in what this whatever plant this is, but I was hoping to perhaps get a bit of fresh water and maybe some sugar. Ah uh the girl bee would uh look it up and down and, uh, kind of, like, sc uh, scratch his head, uh, before saying, uh, I can bring that out shortly for you, uh, in, in one moment. Very well. And we both probably sit down, putting this plan on the table, and just, like, just, like, looking at it, you know, writing on his clipboard. Nobody... He has, he's filled so many papers on this clipboard, and he still hasn't run out. Bro's got the multi-dimensional <laughs> magic clip on. <laughs> yeah, perks of being gaster and split between realities. It's been well. research paper! Cons of being a gaster and split between realities. Oh god, where do I start? <laughs> uh, a few moments later, uh, the girl becomes uh, rushing over and saying, uh, here is... Uh, here is some, uh, sugar and some water for, uh, your- He kind of looks confusingly. Your plant. Uh, that was- calm, A calm nod and a thank you very much. And begin to dissolve the sugar and the water and give it to the plant. Uh, Groby kind of looks awkwardly back and forth before looking back at you. That'll be 1G. That water. Pay for it. Do you have money? Don't we I have corn like from Grilby's thing? Oh, well, that's that's Grilby's personal money, so. Oh. Hey, Grilby, yeah, pay for it. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna. Start a character, not give us money. No. I'm, I'm gonna. We I'm gonna have roll. no money. You know what? Okay. Um. I feel like most D any D and D, you start with at least like ten frickin' copper. Also. Enough sugar for a plant would literally not cost money. It's a little bit of sugar and fresh water, which could theoretically be good are, are, Do you want to make a persuasion check? What would that be? Uh, it would be uh, perseverance, uh, and you would have to roll a d12. <laughs> what do I gotta a get? Perseverance. You you would have to you would have to beat a uh, a seven. Eight plus two! That's a ten! I win! Yeah, at, at the point of the dimension of the cost, Devin simply raises an eyebrow and is like, for this amount of sugar? Just unimpressed. Uh, Groby would, uh, look, uh, look back and forth and he'd be like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess you're right. Uh, and then just kind of walk away. <laughs> Zevin just completely unimpressed like I got it shattered across the multiverse and you're making me pay 1g for like a tablespoon of sugar are you insane <laughs> put her in Eldritch Town that would be a bit funny yeah <laughs> he said we could have anything put her in Eldritch Town and then there's money uh, okay that being said we're gonna go ahead, uh, and 
Okay, May, it is your turn now. Okay, uh... Oh. Well... Don't... Hold on. <laughs> huh? Can I just pick up the gong and put it on one of the beds? I do not believe I have a Zevin, uh... Uh, thing, character sheet. Whoever drew the art did draw him. So I guess if they sent me that sketch, I could work with it and can finish, like, draw the rest of them if they... Who sent that? Who made that? Uh, Soma. It's on the thumbnail. Yeah, somebody wanted his rep, and I wanted to get a full sheet of that. Oh, but yeah. I not um... draw his out again. That's fair. Uh, we can we can deal with that after uh, the session. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll get that set up. Yeah, it's on the thumbnail, doodle, but it needs it needs some details. All right, yeah, Kip. Can... Well, sorry, my uh, headphones cut out. But uh, what what did you want to do? <laughs> Cause... Uh. Well, I'm probably just gonna uh, lift the dog into one of the beds if they're just gonna keep sleeping, and then probably just keep an eye on the dog and Mold Small while the others are off doing their thing. I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm gonna have you make a performance check. If you roll too bad, I'll just melt through your arms. It'll be great. <laughs> you'll, you'll, uh, it's a D4. You'll have to pass a 2. Okay. You, you got this. If you don't, it'll be funny, what? though. Don't tell him what I shall fail. For oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> 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 green or something? Or maybe per Perth or Perrin's, maybe? Like, you your your hands literally, like, goop through uh, the dog. And you're unable to pick him up. What if the hands okay. get stuck? What if the hands get stuck? I think that'd be hilarious. What if the you hands know, get stuck? Yo, you want the hands to get stuck? It can. I was I was too goopy. Can I roll? Can I roll for that? But are you rolling to get my hands stuck? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Give me this power. Give me this power. What do I need? What do I need to do? Uh, when the monsters, roll. Don't they normally like with their bodies? They're like. Kind of I'm like, like Ooblick. I'm like Ooblick. Ooblick. Like, you get your hands put They're in like there and then you're stuck. You? Yeah, I'll have you. I'll have you roll a uh, a fear check as well. Uh, you you just have to pass it to. Uh, what do I roll for fear? Uh, D four. Okay. Sorry, my dice are everywhere and I don't know what anything it is. Uh, so this good. looks like a D four, but that's a D eight. That's a D four. That's clearly not a D4, that's a D3. Now, <laughs> this is a D3, why are my dice mislabeled? Hold on. Oh, that is a D4. But, but we, we don't have D3s. Yeah, that's your D4. D3 right? don't I, exist. I don't know, man. It's a triangle, and I'm like, okay, triangles have three sides. It must be a There's D3. There's three sides facing up, but the fourth side is on the bottom. It's a pyramid. I just, I just, I'm not even rolling it. I'm just oh, clicking it. There oh. we go. Dang it. Yeah. You, uh, oh God, it... Damn. It becomes so goopy that, uh, <laughs> Kip, you get stuck trying to pick up the dog. Uh, waking it up. Uh, let me see. Oh. I'm just gonna set it to 87. I don't know if that would be good or not. Is there? Uh, you sound a little bit better, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably 87, 85, 87, because, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Take me. Yay! Whoa. Ooh. Woo! Uh, uh, well, I guess yeah, Kip would just be kind of confused and not really sure what to do. Oh, don't, 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 like, don't chain them, don't chain them together. Oh, oh dear. But this is going to cause I, I, issues. A, I will unchain them, I will unchain them. If you want to grab both of them, just, just click and drag over them to pick them both up instead of chaining them together. Sorry, I'm messing with all the buttons. Oh. <laughs> this is a sticky situation. This is wonderful chat. There we there go. We go. <laughs> okay. I've been. Was I muted? Uh, no, uh, I I muted you on the tabletop voice chat. 
Or did you want to go on that one? Uh, there was just like uh, an echo, so. I don't want an echo to happen, so fair. Just fair. Okay. They, they are on stuck though now. Okay, but theoretically, uh, Kip, your hands are stuck in this dog. Wait, how many hands? Because I have two sets, so I can have uh, four hands. You you have you have two hands stuck in this dog in its uh in its head. Oh no! And the dog and the dog just wakes up. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I was gonna take you to a bed because the ground is hard and cold, etc. Uh, sorry for waking you. <laughs> why? Why are your hands in my face? Why, what have you done? <laughs> Kip would just laugh kind of nervously, not really oh, knowing how to respond. Blind. Now the dog is blind. <laughs> 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 while you are resolving that um well waffle is not here so it is the npc's turn um i'm just moving some things around oh uh actually uh this would involve uh Ooh. since cat is still here cat i need you to roll another justice check you need to pass a five Wait, is that how Algis gonna walk out? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw a D six, right? I kind of okay. want you to get caught so we can see what he says. <laughs> okay, let's see. And since I got plus three for justice, let's see. Wee! Oh, where did it go? You got a three right. wherever it went. You got a three, so you, you passed. <laughs> You are still, you are invisible as, uh, Aldrich also walks by, looking to be in a very, very bad mood, um, as he goes towards this door, uses some type of magic, comes in, closes the door as it relocks. Darkness. Into the darkness. Into the unknown! <laughs> Someone draw Aldrich as Elsa right now. And uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's some some conversations happening. Some new people introduced. All right, we are back up to uh, we're back up to Drummy. It is your turn. <laughs> So, <laughs> so but essentially, Molt Small uh, was going to do stuff with the flower, but oh, then God. the flower got kidnapped. So the only thing I can really do now, uh, you can follow Oh, well, it's a little late now. Okay. So lo looking back to the chest, I presume that none of what uh, Zavon got was uh something that mold small realized right so would i have to roll yes all right well uh, i would like to investigate the chest investigating the chest is a d10 you will have to pass a, a i think it was eight yeah it was eight. eight with a d10 but what any any advantage or patient Patience. I do not have patience, so I need a D10. Here's a D10. Whoop! And... Got a nine! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Good family! My god! Let's go! Uh, not only... Not only can you see the intricate designs on the chest and the type of lock that it has, which appears to be a simple golden key, but you're also able to peer inside to the chest to see that there is some currency in there, as well as a old journal. I, you're just I not able to access we... it. Oh, I presume we do not have a key. You do not. 
see. I'm trying to think of where. I don't think there is a place that would reasonably have a gold. Wait, no, hold on. The inside of the castle. <gasps> Mold Small's gonna have to be a little bit sneaky. Mold Small going on an adventure! Let's go! Yeah, come on in inside the castle! <laughs> Mold, Mold Small. Cat, like... I, I need a key. Oh, I, I need a key. There's only one place that would reasonably have a gold key, and that is the giant castle. At least in my my reasoning, I could be completely wrong, but Mold Small would imagine a gold key can be found in the castle. So probably going to approach. Yeah. You venture into the castle, and the guards will, uh, with no words, open the big gates for you as you enter in. Oh. And then, do I have to make a perception check on Cat, or...? Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to! Oh, what, what, what do I roll? Uh, per perception to perceive Cat. Cat, are you still trying to be stealthy at this time? Um... Yeah, I can... I can... I can still hide out. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Uh... Jeremy, you're gonna have to roll uh, a d8 for uh, a patience check, and uh, you're going to have to be like a six because Cat is like clearly really oh, good wait. at this. this, this... Oh, I, that was not the right roll, but damn. Uh, I get a six again. You got a six. <laughs> So meets it, beats it. So you are able to spot Cat hiding behind a uh, small barrel as she obviously looks like she's uh, was or was or is eavesdropping into it in previously. Uh, do I need to roll? Because I have perception of fancy. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to see more small or not. <laughs> Since I'm in uh, a barrel? Yeah, if you, yeah, <laughs> if you want to, uh, roll a perception check, D8, you're gonna have to, since he made some noise, you're gonna have to beat, like, a, a three. So, D8, okay, where is my D8? And you said six? Yep. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm not trying to hide yet, am I? A five. Uh, okay, you uh, you peek through one of the holes in the barrel, and you see Mold Small, one of the people from your party, uh, walk through. Uh, and he and you can tell that he can clearly see you. Oh, <laughs> mm. You know, a second thought, I might want to have. I, I don't know what he would be saying. <laughs> so, you don't you don't speak wiggle. Yeah, um Gavin speaks wiggle. Or we are learning to. Good job, sir. Good. Do I have to do something Night, trippy to one. be able to understand Night, what he's saying? You 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 don't cuz I'm I'm about to do something that's going to help. Uh as as Moltsmall approaches, Moltsmall would move to get on top of the barrel and try to uh, turn it over and roll it onto its side. <laughs> and while it's like that, proceed to roll on the barrel with Cat inside to try and take them with them into this room. <laughs> Please, please, uh, get it in the barrel. Get in. <laughs> this is a threat. Get in the barrel. Get in the barrel. Get in the barrel. Fair enough. <laughs> Ow. 
Oh, my headset just... cut out again, so oh. can't hear anything that's happening at the current moment. Uh, we can hear you. One sec. Just all the oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. Okay, uh, so you're entering this why room. Is, why is I'm being highlighted and not being highlighted? Something's, something's going on. I think with the, it's with Zell's internet. Uh, sorry about that. If that word, okay. if that is happening. Oh, Zell? Uh, Zell may be glitching. Yeah. I mean, Erin was Zell? hacking her stream earlier. Uh, Whatever. can y'all not hear me? Oh, alas. Hold on. Uh, okay. It's, hold on Hello? to your voice! Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, there we go. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I am fine. Uh, there, I think that solved something. Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, Hello, so... You heard him say about the barrel and try to get me in it? I don't oh, know you were already in it. You're already in the barrel. Yeah, you're already in the barrel. Oh, did did oh, you hear yeah. what I was trying to do, I guess? Uh, like half of it. With, with uh, Cat in the barrel, uh, I was trying to have Moldsmall get on the barrel, knock it over with Cat inside of it, and then roll it kind of like a, uh, how you would in, like, one of those unicycle things into this throne room here, because I remember there being a chest in here. I'm gonna have yeah. you make an arrow, uh, an, uh, a bravery check of d20. You will have to pass a 10. Uh, uh, moving that dice. I do have an advantage, so I have plus 2. So, hope I get an 8 or over. And I get... 6. Well, plus <laughs> 2. That's 8. Oh dear. You are able to get on top of the barrel, but when it comes to rolling it inside the throne room, you just, like, hit hit the barrel really hard against the wall. Oh, oh that's not gonna be quiet. <laughs> Damn it, my soul! <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, as, you, as you cursed, you would actually hear your uh, curse be blocked out. Is there a way for me to tell the thing, to tell Small Small that this is so much, this is just for someone in the castle, that this is just so... Uh, oh, I just need to try to tell him that she saw a new person or something with the face of a waffle or something. Uh, you can't, uh, yeah, you, you can tell him that. Mo Mold Small can understand you. You okay. can just say it if you want. Okay, Small Small. Shush. There's the thing. Okay, there's there's Elder goes in the throne room earlier with someone new. Oh. Um, but for some reason the thing had a uh, waffle or something. I don't know what the redacted thing is, but the. the I need you. I need you both to pull out a justice check for uh, rolling a d20. Cat, uh, because you are talking, you will need to pass a 14. Mold small, you will need to pass a 12. D20. All right. D20. Okay. I don't have justice, okay. so this is just. Okay. Oh, that's a I 10. Have a plus three oh. in justice, though. I have a plus three in justice. Um. Please. Eleven plus three, uh, that'd be fourteen. Fourteen means it beats it. So, cat, you stay successfully hidden, <laughs> unlike Mold Small, as a new creature enters the room, looking, looking down at 
uh, the multiple, uh, oh. looking him dead in the eyes. Uh, he, he stares puzzly for a sec, uh, trying to decipher if what he heard was correct. Did you swear? He asked in a very confused manner. <laughs> Wait, so is she hidden or, or can she? You are successfully fire? hidden. In the barrel. DMZL. Oh, DMs? Okay. D D no, I know, I'm asking Zell the DM a question. Yeah, you D could. DM Zell. What's up? So, when the barrel hit the wall, did Moldsmo fall off, or is he still on the barrel? <laughs> that is completely up to you. I, I would like to say, Moldsmo is, like, sitting on the barrel still, conveniently on the top, kind of sealing Cat inside to help keep them hidden. And given how he got Cat into this situation, he's going to have to lie himself out. So we're just going to have to lie and say... <laughs> Yes, and he wiggles forward and back slightly. <laughs> um, okay, I need you to make a uh, deception check, which is hate. A d20, oh, no. you need to fool this guy, you need to pass, you need to pass a 12. You could also just swear again. You could just swear again. Just and wiggle and swear <laughs> Oh my god, swear! <laughs> you know what? If, if I pass, I will. I will do that. But for, <laughs> I have to pass now. May the gut. Oh, no. uh, oh, hey, we hear you. Oh, we we can hear you now, here. <laughs> yeah. You you successfully uh you successfully uh fool Neo uh that y it was you who has sworn uh. Neo, Neo looks really disappointing. He gives you a very disappointing look, and looks you in Wiggles the eye, looks you in. He gives you a very <laughs> disappointing look as he says, "Don't do it again. I cannot tolerate such behavior, especially if I am supposed to help you all." Uh, he kind of looks. He kind of looks. Uh. At the barrel that he's standing at, let me roll a let me roll something. See if oh, he actually no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I find the like dice now. Like look down look down his elongated snout of the sky and be like, technically I believe profanity is allowed within moderation. Eleven. It's called PG thirteen and you get one F word per movie. <laughs> you get one uh, F word for movie. <laughs> Neo, Neo looks suspiciously at the barrel before he looks back at the mold small, uh, taking a deep breath and saying, Well, will you guys meet me at your quarters uh in about an hour or so? I need to uh I need to assist you in connecting you with your he he pauses for a sec. You'll you'll understand when we do it, but uh Prince Aldrich requests that uh a task may be done before you head off on oh. your first mission. And I will need you and your comrades there within the hour. Uh Neil would uh Neil would like back away while still looking at Moldsma on the barrel before opening the door and still looking as he closes the door. You got you yeah, I feel like I feel like you know this question <laughs> Alright, that that being said, we will <laughs> head over to uh Pierre. Yeah. Pierre has your character awakened from its nap. I'm sure it has, yeah. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm very confused and upset because I've got a hand in my face. All I can see is these gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like I can't move. Like I just can wiggle, but I can't like walk because I'm stuck. And what is this nonsense? What happened? 
I, I have temporarily locked them together until uh, it is... To resolve this? <laughs> I, I have figured out how to unlock them, so it's completely fine. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready uh, for a tip? For, for the most part... Do you want to go take a dunk in the fountain? I feel like it'll solve all of our problems. <laughs> oh, God. That, uh, maybe we can see if it has a last resort. Um, do you have? I can't see. Do you have any other plans? I don't want to sit here blind. Do you want to sit there blind? You know, I bet you. I'm not I blind. Maneuver, I bet you though. I could change that if I maneuvered in a very specific way. I could probably get one of my paws in your face. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Are, are you actually attempting this? No, I'm just threatening. Oh, threatening. A a threat is a fear check. Oh no. Okay. Uh, you have to. You have to. D twenty. You have to pass a seven. Do I have okay. to roll anything? Hold on, hold on, let me hit the roll button. Okay. Six. I'm a saving, I'm a saving, thank you, Nova. Okay, I'll, I'll live with the six. We uh, gotta, we gotta, uh, I'll get a death alpha now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, I'll get a death alpha now, thank you, Nova. <laughs> Yay, so now I'm curious. Put it in the fan art channel. Or I will Put it in the fan art channel. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. That's uh that's actually Where's the fan art? Where is the fan art? It's in the D and D character. Fan art that they use. In the D &D uh no, if you go to uh UTMB D and D and then go to D and D characters, there should be a thread or something. That's called Okay, and cat. Let me see. There we are. There's no picture for me, but I'll take your word for no, it. No, there's not either. I got it. Oh, oh well. Hang on. We will. I have the it in. There we go. Okay. Ow, ow, there we go. I'll do it just also. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Nova, for the art. <laughs> That's great. Find... That's fantastic. I I... It's oh. in the fan art section. Oh, oh. damn. I don't you see the fan art. Alpha. I thought you meant you were like the two were being shipped together, not the two were being <laughs> combined. Because <laughs> I, I was like, know. wait, wait, but this is not a ship. But no, uh, 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 this is a different kind of cursed. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that. I, so, do you guys plan to do any actions with unstucking yourself? Yeah, I I want to I want to get on I want to be able to see. Kip, we need to solve this problem. Uh, uh, um, Grr. Grr. Can I attempt to pat uh your head to try and placate you with one of my free hands? <laughs> Roll a one and you're getting that one stuck too. But go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like if it's just like a light pat, it wouldn't get stuck. The only reason why her other hands got stuck is because they you yeah, stuck them like underneath me to try to pick me up, and that didn't work. I yeah. don't know why your hands stuck in my face, but that's how apparently how you pick a dog up. <laughs> how are you <laughs> attempting? Like you, you how? put you put it like under their front legs to pick up the dog, but then it like that's not my face. Up through the body and got stuck in the hole in the face, and now it's just stuck. What is okay, your face? Okay. You have multiple faces, but okay. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, I forgot what, yeah, about that. one of them what is, is in the area where, the le where you would pick up a dog at the leg. Okay. That being that being said, uh, what action do you try to do to get yourself unstuck? Uh, well, maybe you could pull one direction and I could pull the other. Sure, let's try that. Let's see how well this works. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going. Let's see. I don't know if I have. Um. Well, probably like a, they both have to roll together and meet a certain requirement. Probably. 
Yes, so. you guys will need a bravery check. Uh, D twenties. You'll have to uh, because because the max is the ma because the max is forty. You're gonna have to be a twenty six together. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll use the D twenty. That's a D ten. Okay. That's a D four. I don't have. Where is my D twenty? Oh, found it. Boop. Oh, <laughs> that's not reassuring. No. <laughs> You guys failed horribly. You guys are still stuck together. I feel like it got worse. I feel like it got worse with those really bad. To my yeah. now. No, technically, technically, you got over the halfway point, so it would not get worse. That's good. Sure. That's up to the DM. The halfway point is thirteen, and we got twelve. Very angry. You, you guys were just oh, unsuccessful. It's not better or worse. You, you just fail. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do you want to go to the fountain? I do want to go to the fountain. Would you like to, like, <laughs> lead the way? With the, like, awkward shit. Can, can I? How do I pick you up? <laughs> Oh no. That That's like what she tried to do in the first place. How do we walk? I guess we will just waddle. Okay. Waddle towards the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> while while you guys are doing that, um Cat, we're going right back to you. <laughs> Get out of the barrel. <laughs> Probably get out of the barrel and <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh. But she is she's mad. She's mad. Roll cat cat. I, I, I need you I need you to roll a D twenty for me. Just just tell me what just tell me what you get. No no advantage or anything. No advantage, just a D twenty. Just a D twenty, okay. Oh my god. If I can even find it, where did it go? Because um, <laughs> need to borrow one of mine. Let me see. Oh, here it is. It was okay. Here we go. Let me. I swear the fountain's this way. Just follow me. Oh, cat. Cat. Not only do you. Not successfully get out of the barrel and you're stuck, but you're going to take um ten damage. It's okay, guys. I got healing problems. First trees, now the barrels. I can't. I can't. Okay, so you're stuck in the barrel and you take damage trying to get out. They flip. Everybody getting stuck around here. Devin, who has a flower that may or may not start well, trying to Devin find is stuck flower. with a flower. He, well, the flower, he could technically <laughs> pitch the flower on the side of the road if he really felt like it. You know, he's not obligated. Take a small pot! I'm small. You know, as you can, as you kiss. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Chad, you're gonna have to make a justice roll of a d20. You're gonna have to pass the 14. <laughs> can, can I can I assist in that roll? You may assist with a d8. I will roll a d8 now. I have, okay, so a d20, a, 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 and it's justice? Got a justice. 6 with a d8 to help. Okay, um, and what do I need to pass? 
A 14. Okay. Please don't that one me, please. <laughs> I have rolled a 6 to help. This is great. We eat popcorn. Okay, plus 3 is 13. I'm just one off. You... Be because of your attempts to uh, get out of the barrel, you are unable to hide without more small assistance, but he is able to help you as the uh, as the waffle creature comes in again, looking very angry at the mold small. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, but how many times, how many F-word level profanities have been said so far? <laughs> I haven't been keeping track. Probably five, maybe more coming up. I don't know. Yes, you have you have breached the one F word per movie. I'm sorry, I cannot save you. <laughs> Mold Small is just going to be wiggling on top of the barrel as if, try, like rocking it back and forth, trying to act like he's balancing on her. Uh, what? Uh, Neo uh would look you in the eyes with a very disapproving glare, uh, and say, "I forbid you to curse," which. Forbid you to curse for the rest of the session. <laughs> what happens if we fail Aww. miserably? But uh, no, like you, like you physically cannot. You, you are physically unable to. Uh, oh, and yeah. like small, fire. small. I hope you know that's physically impossible for me. Mo well, small, small. I want you to minus <laughs> one OE. Oh no, my only OE. Cursed yet though, so well, yeah, but... I was just gonna take the blame for everything, but now he can't because it's, it's cursed. Because again. because Neo, because this man is under the impression that it is Mosma that is cursing, therefore I... it is completely one hundred percent fair. It's just sad. would walk up to the most small, lean down, and, uh, stare the most small in the eyes, and, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and just sigh with disappointment. Don't let it happen again. He, he says in a very stern voice as he walks off once more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I do what Savage did the first episode, which is which is like trying to say, I am so sorry that she's just feeling so bad that she that he took a blame for her for her. Poor if, you will, if you wish to comfort Mold Small, uh you may do a love check with a dice and a uh a number to beat. From Drummy's choice. Mold, mold small is very understanding. It's not going to be very high. Yeah, plus I don't have any love. <laughs> I only have this. So, uh, what? It's probably going to be like uh, a six on any dice. On any dice? Uh... Except for the D100. Except for the D hundred, yeah. Okay, I can I can do a uh, uh good job. Let's do D twelve then, and you said a six, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> your 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 remark as an apology comes out as a sarcastic jab. She's still pretty much pissed at him for for uncovering. 
so. <laughs> where she was. <laughs> and you are still stuck in the barrel. <laughs> there as we come over to Zevin and the little plants. I'll be right back. Zevin, blissfully unaware of the massive string of miscommunications and failures, just kind of looks at the plant, you know, judging whether it, it seems to need a bit more water, you know, just checking, just generally inspecting it a little bit before, if he ends up being satisfied that it will recover, we'll begin to go back outside. But first I will ask, how does the plant seem to be doing now that it has been watered and fed? Uh, now that the plant, uh, hold on. I gotta roll a dice. Ooh. Duh. This one. The plant is doing wondrously! It is, it is blooming, it is bright, it looks like it's in its peak, the best that it's ever been, if not if not supernaturally and abnormally doing well. Zevin, Zevin, you know, smiles to himself, glad to see that he doesn't destroy everything he touches. And will bring, bring the plant out, you know, to, to the sun, and is heading back this way before, kind of just sees these two, and is like, um... Do you require assistance? Carefully putting the, the plant down where it's safe. And heading to the fountain. Okay, kind of glancing at Kip, a little concerned. Oh, Kip, they're they're out. They're away right now, right? Yeah. They're at the bathroom. Okay, then scratch that. Zevin is going to be a little distracted by the plant and kind of nod at them, look a little concerned. But after after um after the dog TM the very melted dog says they are headed to the fountain would kind of give kind of a little shrug and head past to go put the plant back where it where it was give it, moving it a little bit so that it's in front of you know in front of the sun and giving it a a gentle a the gentle, plant like just, hmm? the plant almost sways and thinks. Can I attempt to interpret the sways via what I learned from Mold Small? Um, you, you may. Um, <laughs> this. Um, I will have you make a justice check. D twenty. You must pass a fifteen. Which of what kind? Justice. Uh, D20. Interpretate. Uh, oh. Justice and then D20. Okay. I don't I don't know what it's saying. Oh, okay. You don't. Oh, yeah. It just, it just is swaying. Uh. Is that all for your turn? Uh, no. I was, I was actually gonna have him so, like, realizing the other two are not in here, we kind of wander around, and could I hear the commotion going on in this from out here? Uh, you... You cannot, especially if they're trying to be stealthy, you cannot hear the commotion. <laughs> well, does he really have anywhere else to go? Uh, I, mean, I, can... I will enter because the doors... The, the guard opening the doors for us, so clearly we're allowed to be in this room. Yes. That's up to the DM. Like, I'm assuming uh, I am allowed to be in this entry room. You, right? uh, yes. You, uh, will have to make a, uh, a patience check. D20. Um. You will have to make a, t a patience check, and you will have to pass a well, you actually have to pass earlier, uh, their roles earlier. of just so 
uh, Prim, uh, you are making a uh, patience check, and Mold Small and Cat, you are making a justice check, and if she if she outrolls you in perception, she may she can see you. Can anyone still hear me? Did I disconnect? Can y'all hear me? We, we yes. hear you. Can you hear okay, us? Did, yeah, did you guys hear what I said? Uh, no. we're partially. We, we have to make a, a justice check. What dice? Okay, uh, all, all of you have to do a d20 dice. Uh, Prim, yours is patience. Uh, Jeremy and Cat, yours is justice. Uh, if she outrolls you in a d20, uh, she sees you. Let, let's let uh, Prim roll first. Okay. Set the bar. That is 19 total. Oh. With my patience plus. Oh. Yeah, okay. well, good luck beating that. I have no justice. Do they no have to individually beat it? Do they have to, are they rolling d20s or d10s? They are rolling d20s. Uh, they, they just have to beat your roll of 19. <laughs> Individually, uh, I assume so not. Indi plus, yeah. Individually, since I have a plus three in justice, would that be a yes. d twenty and then plus yes. a three from? Okay, um, uh, so nineteen. Uh, you gotta beat nineteen. I've already seen mold small. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 18. Barely. Oh. Okay, I so as as. As Zevin, as you walk in, you clearly see Mosmol on top of a barrel, and you can barely make out a cat inside of the barrel, who seems to be stuck. I don't seem to be revealing Fog of War, by the way. I got you. Dremmy, uh, well, oh. not Dremmy. I'm not playing Dremmy. Dremmy's not even the head character. Hold on a minute. I yeah. forgot who I was for a moment. I forgot, like, my... I saw the birth and death of the universe, and I forgot who I was. It seems to be a, con a constant theme here with Devin and me. Anyway, kind of looking at a, I imagine, distraught-looking Mold Small. Would kind of look at the situation and, for, and you know, giving, giving, uh, giving Mold Small, like, a little reassuring pat, ask, like, like, look, look at this, like, do either of you require assistance? You seem oh. a little, um, looking down at Cat, incapacitated? <laughs> you wanna help me pick, pick me up? Because uh, I'm stuck in here now. <laughs> because of freaking small small. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now, now, I'm sure our friend here didn't intend for this outcome, and would attempt to assist to free, freeing Cat from the barrel, and, you know, I, giving, giving the old small little pat. I need you to make a uh, determination check. Um, D20, you have to pass an 8. Five. Wait, do I get, a, do I get help from the person attempting to escape the barrel? <laughs> Um, Cat, I'll have you roll, uh, uh, an assistance of a d4. Oh, with any, uh, with any determination advantage that you have. I'm with, I have a plus five of determination, and you said to help out with the d4, right? Yeah, you roll a d4. Okay. Two plus five, seven. Uh, you barely, you you both barely break the barrel open, uh, and are able to escape from the barrel. I'm free. Um, is 
probably seven probably sees another bump on her head again that's like kind of bruised kind of like the same thing that she did whenever she fall off the tree just an old <laughs> <lady>. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like she's a very good kid sorry my friend here is who's staying over at my house for a while is oh all that my friend who's staying at my house is having a, is obsessing over my cat a little bit, which is very understandable. It was a very cute thing to get a fan art channel. <laughs> Check fan art. She's probably gonna be like, Why don't I ever see the fan art head. channel? Where the frick is the fan art channel? Uh, you have to access it yourself. Oh, where do I find it? Where do I get that role? <laughs> yeah. It's in the D and D characters. Ah, oh, that that one. What is happening? You're <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The head pad. <laughs> well, it's in his face. Head pad gone wrong. Yeah. Uh, moving Cheating. back to moving back to Kip and Kame. Uh, uh, there guys... was one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to ask. Mold, I wanted to commu attempt communication with Mold Small again. Would be like like kind of kind of look at look at Mold Small and be like you uh, you doing all right there little guy. Oh, and it gives a very <laughs> very slow wiggle side to side before turning to go face this door. I would like to communicate. I would like to interpret. What will that a role to interpret it? Uh, interpretation is uh patience. Uh. D20, uh, Jeremy, because you are the owner of the wiggle language, uh, you will determine what she has to beat. I remember uh, I passed it once so far, so if you want to give me an, an easier time for that, that's up to you, though. I was looking, uh, looking through the DMs because we talked about it in the past, about wiggle, what it wiggle, might have wiggle. been. Wiggle, yeah, wiggle, the wiggle. Wiggle 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 trying to find it. Uh I know it was somewhere. Oh yeah, the uh Stacy's mom parody. Stacy's mom. Thank you again, Nova. It uh, it hurts me a little bit, but it's funny. We will, uh, Jeremy, when you figure that out, we will pan back to you. In the meantime, we will Very pan well. to about that, y'all. It's, it's fine. fine. It's 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 fine. There was one more thing I forgot to have, okay. uh, Zevin say, which was looking no. at Kara like, you and head injuries do seem to have a history. My condolences. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I will really remind you guys. I I will really remind you guys that you guys can attempt to heal. Yeah. I All right, I'll do that. On that. Sure. I, don't I was gonna. Have healing. Do you want to do it? Or you want to help me or something? I think I, I have gonna... advantages on healing. I'm not sure because it's a kindness, ain't it? And I've got. I will make an attempt. I will make an attempt. Zevin would glance over as like, well, I suppose I could attempt. <laughs> he looks like he's never considered the possibility, at least not in a long while. And he looks down at his hands like, hmm, is this a good idea? I need you to make a... I need you to make a love check. Um, D20. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. That's a nat one. <laughs> you are you a genie. I don't know what you get from that, but it's probably like you probably pick up his chronic wasting. Dis no, no, that's a curse worse than death. Don't give them the prion disease. Uh, Zevin, you proceed to pretty much slap Cat across the face. <laughs> no, just like, no, he like tries to heal her, but like. How dare you? How dare you ask me to heal? For a moment, you feel like your skin is rotting off, and he like immediately jerks back, like, nope, 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 not a good idea. I, my, my I am so sorry. Ow. 
That did was it... a terrible idea, and I apologize profusely. Did that, did that take damage? Uh, cat, cat, I want you to take two damage. We're at almost at a staggering point. This is not good. Seven is very, very regretful. Can Molt Small try healing? Because Molt Small has something as well. You may. Uh, D no, just roll a d20. A d20 kindness advantage, right? Uh, d a love advantage would be healing. Oh, love advantage, I can do that. Oh, I, I do have a green skill, which is healing as well, here. Hey. Uh, that, let's see. Does that help any? The... Sliming. The sliming, that is a attack. That will cause okay. damage. Oh, fair, fair. Never mind, never mind then. I don't want to do that, so. No, Sluffer again. I will God. roll and 13 plus 2. So 15. 13 plus 2. You are, uh, most small, uh, is able to heal Cat by, um, let me roll. Frick, I can't find the dice. Also, yeah, I have to do the. I still have to do the in, in the uh. <laughs> you interpretation of the slime wiggles. <laughs> You're able to heal cat for four HP. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Eight, so what? Yes, Emphis, I'm under wiggles. arrest. You have calculators on your tables, by the way, if you need to use it. Woo, calculators, but they... That being said, we're going to pan back over. We're going to pan back over to Kip and the dog. Uh, I believe I still needed to interpret the wiggles. Have you obtained the... Um... I, I sent the DMs, or sent the DM a DM about that. One day. Whoa. One day. Oh, meta. Whoa, hello. That's so meta, sending that DM a DM. Uh... Send a DM to it, the DM about another campaign's DM. <laughs> uh, about a let DM me see. from another campaign's DM. I finally returned. Hey. Hello? Alright, um, what did you roll for your thing? Uh, for the interpretation, I did. Not, I was not told to roll yet. I didn't have anything to roll. Uh, D20... Patience what? or perseverance? Where'd they go? Oh, they're up. Now they're right. twenty. Let's go. <laughs> you, uh, Maltzball, you are free to DM, uh, Zevin what you have said. How's my How's my learning the language progress going with that? You're getting there. Nice. Uh, and, okay. Now we're going to move back to uh the dog and Kip. On their way, you you have probably oh, made it by the fountain by now. No, we haven't. <laughs> Due to pure stubbornness of me thinking I know where to go, I've been leading us the wrong direction, and Kip... Oh, what's Ooh. that sound? Kip has since stopped trying to, like, help me, and, like, basically put us in the right direction, and just let me be Kip kinda around. just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. All the dogs oh is just leading us around. Guys, I swear I know where I'm going. I'm going to the fountain, okay? I go to the fountain. Except that 10 minutes ago. No, I didn't. You're lying. You can't tell time. Can you? Grr. 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 Okay. Uh, since you're struggling for that, yeah. uh, Waffle's not here. It's the NPC's turn. You, uh, everyone in, in the AU feels a loud rumble as the ground oh, no. shakes, as the ground shakes oh. beneath them, uh, and 
and a, and a sense of dread and anxiety fill each of you profusely. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's just timer. my tummy. It's just my tummy. I was a little hungry, guys. Don't worry. Here, <laughs> one minute. Don't touch the timer. Do not hour, touch the timer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> One hour, 22 as, minutes, and 30 seconds. But as soon as the rumbling came, it disappeared. Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, everyone, everyone within the castle, I need you to make a, another stealth check of the 20. Oh. You, you oh. have to pass a... Uh, Why are we hiding? We were let uh, into Justin? this room. Devin would uh, simply say, why would we bother to hide? Didn't the guards... Uh, are you attempting to hide? After the rumble. Oh, to hide from the rumble? No, are, are you attempting to hide after it? Devin's not, because if someone says you shouldn't be there, he's gonna blame the guards who let him in without a word. Uh, I'm hiding. <laughs> because I'm I, longer. <laughs> I would like to not I'm roll to hide, hide, but roll to help the cat hide. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, cat, uh, D20, you're gonna have to pass a 10. Uh, just regular D20 or justice? I justice. Think? Okay. Uh, Remy, it is still you guys. Uh, let me see. Okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, uh most small for assistance, two. I'm gonna have you roll a D8. D8? I two. got you. Two plus three, that makes it five. Alright, uh, I don't have justice. I got another six. Okay, Cat successfully barely, barely manages to hide as Aldrich comes through a locked door and locks it behind him before he faces uh, Moltzmal and uh, Seven. Are you hiding in the barrel again? <laughs> behind it this time. The barrel is broken, right? You guys You're broke the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> the the prince would come walking through, rubbing his face with a sense. Uh, actually, how many of you guys are observing the prince at the moment? Me. Zevin is just eyeing him and looking with the clipboard out already. I want you to make a perception check. Uh, you will have with D twenty. Let's do all checks. Uh, D twenties. So, yeah. you will have to make a patience check. You will have to pass a 11. Damn. Eight. Uh, you can't tell anything, really. <laughs> I mean, you said he's he rubbing his head, so I, I think we can at least assume some amount of... I think, generally speaking, I'd imagine perception checks to be the figuring out something hidden. Something that you wouldn't immediately notice. If he looks visibly yeah. stressed, I'd imagine he looks visibly stressed. His eyes are wide, and he is rubbing his head as he looks right. and comes towards you guys. Ah, have ah my my employees. Uh, Seven he, he like stare down his snout, like clearly unimpressed, awaiting him to continue. He he pauses for a bit, trying to figure out his wording, before he shakes his head and uh, appears to be back to normal. Have have you and your lovely companions have have you guys connected to Eleanor's reset yet? I was not aware this was a task we were supposed to participate in, or that it was a task at all. I have been uh, caring for plant life. Aldrich, Aldrich rubs his head again, uh, being like, ah, okay, yes, I will take care of the servant who was supposed to tell you that. Uh, right, uh, please get your fellow, uh, companions and meet me in front of your quarters, where we will connect you with, with Eleanor's reset and we can send you on your first mission. Devin, Devin gives honestly a magnificent eyebrow raise. He's really good at looking <laughs> unimpressed. Like, Broly's just like, I see. And starts writing it down as if he's being judgmental. Like, he writes it down like as if he's, like, judging and keeping notes on Aldrich, which he kind of is. 
Aldrich, Aldrich would shrug and uh, kind of clap his hands and be like, what are you waiting for? Go on again, you had your partners, I will grab Eleanor. And he would make his way to this room uh, and appears to lock it. <laughs> Open that door. Open that door right now. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Break, break, break that door. Break that it's... door. Right out. <laughs> Open it right up and Aldrich goes in and slams him into the ground. <laughs> uh, let's pan the... Literally, uh... me, literally me and Moldmold the only person who I told about what he missed because he heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we will pan the camera back to uh, Kip and the dog, as they look like they finally got themselves separated. <laughs> yeah, we've been having a great time in chat. Like we've got unstuck. We had a swim. We're best friends now because we were never not best friends. Because how could it they be bad if they gave heart? <laughs> like come on, don't you know how people work? And now we're playing fetch. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty chill <laughs> right now, really. Alright, fine. If, if you guys are just... Friendship. If you... We don't have any clue what's happening. We're just, we're just messing around yeah. and having a grand time. Yeah. You know... We need to... Okay. Fair. Uh, we'll <laughs> zoom back. We'll zoom back over to uh, the others then. As uh, Aldrich had just left the room. Zevin. Zevin is, ha is continuing. Oh, and Devin would be like, oh, oh, that is truly dire. <laughs> it's like, would you like me to say it for you? Oh, uh, I just, just a group. He, he's bad. I, 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 I would like I you guys to, I, I, I would like you to DM me what you had said. Oh, yeah, my bad. I will DM the entire conversation, which is just three messages. Okay. Just... Zevin, Zevin over here about a, like, would be, is also, like, just curious. It's a strange ability to have, for sure. Who did this? Uh, how, how do I explain? How do I explain? Because... <laughs> explain it seems... in... A moderate, a moderate to large amount of detail. Ex do not leave out anything you think is important. Observations, no matter how nonsensical they may sound. He has a clipboard ready for science. PM. Hmm. Do I need to roll something to like, uh, to it, it like, like what? Seven says, explaining in like details. It's basically or just explain what you saw. Anything what he had a conversation between him, and, between Aldridge and Neo. <laughs> he didn't even remember it at that point. I mean, it's just whatever you, whatever detail you have, basically. Basically, it's more he's asking who it is. So just explain the person, I guess. Assume he gets a decent amount of knowledge of their appearance. Um, okay, so basically, I heard two people talking, Aldridge, and then there's another person, which I think it's Neo or something like that, this dude is weird, he's literally like a floating body thing, but his face is like a freaking waffle or something, hmm. um, well, it's from what I heard so far, it seems like, um, uh, this Neil dude was, was talking about, like, giving Aldridge, like, the list of the alternate universes. I don't know if it's possibly our agents or something like that, hmm. but nonetheless, Aldridge sounded like he was pretty much pissed about it, and he's like, um... Was, I, I uh, cat, cat. Before you begin, cat, are you still trying to hide? Uh -huh. No. Nah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
And she's stuck in a barrel. She's free. She's again. Again. I don't know. I got. I don't know if she even went in the barrel or if the outside of the barrel when she was hiding. I well, feel like she would make the same mistake again. It's up to you. We, well, we had a whole gimmick of them being getting out of the barrel. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean, since Will Small was literally on top of her head, and then he just said that cat was in the barrel. I, I guess she might be no, in the barrel. He that, found her previously. I don't know. The the van did help you get out of the barrel. So you're free of the barrel, but you do you do you have you gotten back in the barrel last time you hid? But Devin hid behind it. Probably hiding behind it, but I then don't Then you are not stuck in the barrel. Okay, thank God. Because God dang it, I don't Okay. <laughs> As you guys are discussing, this door opens frantically and uh the servant of Alderich um runs through with a panic look in her eyes, uh before before she looks at uh, the three that are there. And Devin, Devin would be like, you still technically have not answered my question. Is this Neo the one who... Oh, hello. Eleanor would, uh... She, uh, she, she would look you up and down, um, and gesture to follow her, um, as she, uh, walks out of the castle. <laughs> Might be a good idea at this point, but it's it's as the walk would ask. So this Neo, Mold Small here, who said that he currently cannot swear. Is this an ability of this Neo? I guess so because he seemed pretty tense, but uh, that uh, uh, but, but I'm able to cuss, but Mold Small, however. It's like, oh. so Zevin would think to himself, write a little bit down on the clipboard, then clear his throat. I'm <clears> sorry, but well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like. All right. Um. Uh, you would see Zevin this um, very <laughs> tall. You would see this very tall and muscular man, but with a waffle head, come out of the castle. Uh, as you said that, and he would look bewildered at you, um, as as your swear word gets uh, eradicated out, um, and it doesn't actually get heard by anybody else. Zevin, what does the no eighteen plus thing visibly appear on them? It, it kind of it it it's kind of visible, like not super much, but it's like it. Like, can it's I, it's can noticeable. I those words because <laughs> Zevin is gonna have something to say. Yes. Zevin would be like, Ahem. technically, that word is not eighteen plus. You see, any movie, for an example, with one singular usage of the F word is is rated thirteen plus. It is only 18 plus if the word is said twice. So technically what I said is considered safe for work. Thank you very much. <laughs> and would walk, I just start leaving. <laughs> Writing on your clipboard. Uh, gotta keep this, this, this creature would uh, kind of like dead stare you as if like, <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what movies are. Uh, he mumbles to himself. Uh, He's like, well, unfortunately, you may have to research them. Considering they have oh, rules on swearing oh that you are clearly not aware of. Come on, everyone. We have something to get to, apparently. And would lead, lead his way forward, seeming very proud of himself. <laughs> she looks already out there. As soon as she sees them, she's like, nope. Rush. Yep. <laughs> she rushes into the place. <laughs> as you as you make your way over to Eleanor, 
Mia would come beside her and start to translate for her. Uh, he, Neo, uh, writes, My name is Neo, Nosa Swaffle, servant of Prince Aldrich and higher powers. Uh, he would, he would, uh, dead stare, uh, Zevin and, uh, Chesmosmo with a very, uh, displeased look. Zevin uh, would simply shrug and be like, I don't know, I'm sorry, but... The uh, admittedly very strange claim that you could simply prevent someone from swearing required testing. I will refrain from saying such words around you in the future. He still does not look like he regrets it, but at least he has a reason now. Oof. You, you, you saved yourself there. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, Neil, Neil would... Neil would sigh and uh, look at you too and be like, "Is this all of your party?" No. Eleanor would no, interrupt. I do not believe so. Though one of them seems to be in the bar doing a side job at this time. We don't need to uh, them, apparently. Where are the others? Where? Where is? I have no idea. Are the? Where is Kip? And. There would there would be a small conversation between Eleanor and Neil. It would last for a bit. Uh, Gazelle looking thing. Um, you want me to go look for them? The There's name's Zevin. Zevin. Okay. Yes. Uh. If you wish, I believe they were headed towards the fountain. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to look that, for them you? then. I just, I want to remind you guys that pretty much anything is possible in D&D. So if you want to, like, perceive something or hear a conversation through a wall or snoop in the conversation, or investigate a random room for stuff, uh, like, you're able to do so. Technically speaking, nat 20 doesn't always mean you succeed whatever you're doing. It's within reason, so, technically, some things can, if the DM wishes it, be out of the question, but only when, but, you know, that's up to the DM how much they're willing to stretch the wall. Right. Uh, as the conversation ends, uh, Neil would turn to you and ask, uh, is one of your party members fetching the others? Yes. Right. Uh, Neil, Neil would kind of, like, sigh in distaste. Um, hold on, the music is a little too loud for my liking. Okay. Um, do Mall Small, do you want to do anything at this moment? Let's see. Given how twice now uh, Mall Small has interacted with this thing and it has gotten up, set it up, he's going to go inside and the flower. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Not in front oh. of everyone, goodness. Molt, 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 small would like to interact <laughs> with the flower. How, how, how would you like to interact with the flower? <laughs> but, uh, unlike, unlike with the door. Oh, uh, where, where Molt Small <laughs> try to be seductive. Molt Small is embarrassed, he is flustered, he is Want wanting to make a good impression, so what what would it be pure charisma check, not not seduction yet? Charisma, kind of like... yeah. Charisma still falls under a love check, a d twenty. Uh, you you must pass a twelve. Got a plus two. Please don't. Oh. oh no! no. <laughs> oh. Poor Mozart. 
he, he's, that, he's, he's, he's nervous trying to work up the courage to say something to the flower. <laughs> but you rolled so low that the flower, like, it's just, it's just so stands, flat. the flower just stands still as if it, like, didn't even hear you at all. Oh, no. Oh. Poor little guy. Technically, that's, that's the equipment. That's half the check, so it's not that low. I still you fail. Could, you there, could still technically... Fail. Oh, it's not that low. You could technically try again if you think, like, it didn't hear you. Oh. I, I guess with a little bit of earnestness, uh, Mold Small is gonna roll... gonna hedge again, so that's plus two... 12, 14. Yes! 14! Alright! So, thinking, thinking that the flower didn't hear you the first time, you, uh, you, you, uh, pretty much raised your voice, uh, uh, to get the flower's attention. The flower would, uh, the flower would sway your way in a very, like, gentle and soothing way. Well, Mold, Mold Small is starstruck. Mold Small is, oh. is in love. And is freaking... <laughs> Devin is writing all of this down. He's like, he's like, he's like eyes narrowed. He's just like writing furiously. Like, oh he's learning God. so much. Mold, Mold, Mold Small uh, is kind of almost like talk, freezing up talking to your, their crush. Aww. Gentle bow. Towards the flower. The flower. Oh. The f the flower would um. The 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 flower would uh sway slightly back. Its petals, um. Uh, making communication with uh mold small. Uh, which I will uh DM to you. Yay, wiggle streak. <laughs> I'm gonna be depressed after this. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are we depressed? It hasn't gone badly yet. Oh. What's the dog I'm doing? What's the dog doing? Oh, He's shoot. doing his best. He's truly doing his best. He's just, just a small little mole. With, okay. With that communication, we go back over to Cat trying to find her other uh her other companions as they were uh summoned by the see prince. How, how well I can see at this point since I'm here in a fountain. So I don't know if she can even like spot them or or or, or see where they went. Uh perception check D twenty. Um, Roll a one, you have two. to you have to pass an eight. All right, I have perception advantage, but okay. So it is decent. Patience. Patience. <laughs> it's a D twenty, right? D twenty. Yes. Okay. Let's see. A six. A six. Um, a six. You are blind as heck. You <laughs> cannot <laughs> see them whatsoever. Oh, no. Stop sending cat to find people. My goodness. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not again! Yeah. That's gonna take me ten more minutes to get back in. Oh goodness, I'm <laughs> sorry, y'all. Oh, it's okay. Fine. You it's cannot right. control error. Error has its way. Error is a beating a pain. <laughs> I wow. respect that though. Like you got, you gotta respect the dedication to causing problems. Good grief! Well, he does this all the time, though. I'm just like, Ded bro. Dedication cannot be deterred. I probably forgot to give him his chocolate. 
Yeah, I don't remember if these are local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chocolate at this point, yes. No. Why did you put Before you scream, I'm going to speak. I ran out of chocolate! Guys, I ran out of chocolate! He's like a cat, you know, you forget to feed him, but he absolutely does not! <laughs> he will remind you until he is fed, and he will remind Bye. you early! He just knows you're gonna forget, right? So he tells says you that he is mad that you don't anyway. censor him anymore. He's scratching at the, scratching at the door. Thank you. Like, let oh me my. in. Oh, I lost the. Uh oh. Fortunately uh -oh. for Emma, Doodle. <laughs> wow. I, I, am, I myself am incapable of most forms of attraction. He's mad. I don't sit for him anymore. It's true. It's true. Uh. Um. My. My. Uh. All I'm my, gonna say. I why are there so, numbers I on my D? I'm so horrible at seeing things. I can't even go. I can't even see like, the you, bottom of the. Thing or whatever. What <laughs> happened to my D10? It it's has gone. numbers on it. It's I'm inserted blind. to the void. No, it's oh. right here, but it's all sticking up. Aaron, what did you do to my D10? <laughs> That's my D10. That's the, the red D10. Whose D10 is this? I don't know. Who's red? That's, I'm not I'm, red. I'm red. Your D10! Oh, it's... it's been kidnapped and turned into a horror! <laughs> I don't <laughs> You know what? I, I, will keep it. I will keep it. Care for it. Give it you the love. You know, it's always had numbers on it, has it not? I mean, you know, considering Cat went blind in the first session, I. This is surprising. <laughs> this is just a character oh, trait no, at this good. point. You need an entire <laughs> telescope I'm, I'm just, just to see blind. three steps in front of you. <laughs> when you get telescope. back, Revan's gonna ask you if you perhaps need glasses. She probably. Yeah, no. You got eye problems. She's probably gonna be. Yeah. Or like wear like those um uh, like those contact lenses or something just to see. What if I do a magical item that ups your chances in um observation or whatever? Anyway, if uh, you contact glasses. That's gonna be what it does. You 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 may. That's you you may like call out for them, but you you don't see them anywhere. Yeah, she's probably gonna be in like yo uh, dog and Kip. Where are Why you does guys? nobody know my name? What the heck, <laughs> guys? I've been here this entire time. You have time. a name. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. She I did. I said it the first day. I said it the second day. At the dog. That's like shaped like a dog or something. That's like all white or something pissed. with goop. <laughs> Devin <laughs> would know the name because Bro takes <laughs> notes of everything. Hey, Devin, what's my name? Right now. What's my name? Go on. Intelligent is. No. What's what's my what's my universe name? Go on. Go on. I said it. I said it twice now. Not only twice, but it's been said. Nope, that's my that's what I am. Funny, Out of character, I don't remember what that one is. Don't don't worry. Mold Mold knows your name. You know what? No, Devin would know. I don't. That's the what? thing. Out of character, I have no idea. But Zevin would know. Oh. I think I was zoning out her AFK my at the time. Do you, you want your name? What's my name? Oh, Wait, isn't it Pierre? Oh. Or <laughs> just Pierre? Yeah, it was Pierre, right? <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful, though. I appreciate that. You definitely knew my name beforehand, didn't you, Jeremy? I was gonna say Edgeny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's Chicken Pop Pop Smear. It's Pierre, oh, right? Stop crying. It is. It is Pierre. It's just Pierre, but Pierre works too. Pierre. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> the dog's name Pierre. is Pierre. It's just, it's just dog or something like that. <laughs> Doggo. <laughs> a doggo, basically. It's just a. Pierre. You're like, it's just a doggo. You're like, and, and the dog, heavy, like, hesitation on trying to decide what to say. You're just blind, okay? Call into the fountain. Get in the fountain for your misdeeds, cat. Get into the fountain. Just, just, you just go. Find 
this and just let me join. No! Bought the freaking tree and now the freaking barrel! No! Get in the dog water! Get in the dog water! Get in the dog water! It really is dog water, too. Yeah. I was in there. Get the dog water with you. Alright, that's. that's... Go to the dog water. Get the dog water with you. That being said. You can't just curse him and be like, where's the fucking dog at? Where's the dog going? Don't summon Neo, life? guys! Don't summon Neo! Neo's not even closer! I have to do some measurements real quick. Oh, yep. Crap, okay, where's the ruler? Really? She literally I believe just one square of land, that's it. Just one tiny square. Wait, is Neo's distance? Is Neo's ability based on distance and whether or not Neo's ability to be hurt? Neo's ability is based on distance, and I can't find the freaking ruler. Hey, you want me to uh, you hold hold tab in it Wait, and drag. Here? How I don't know, far? <sighs> Looks like about fifty. You you guys you guys you guys will find out. Neo is fifty meters. This is for gonna 50 be a feet. wonderful thing to rewatch. Yeah. <laughs> there is a Neo I've been coming out. this session for almost two hours now. It's been fun. It's great. It's been fun. Yeah. And we're tough as fuck. But Wait, it's been charisma fun. Charisma falls under determination, right? Or is it. Charisma falls under love. Oh, God dang it. Kiss, kiss. Bad enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, determination. What is love even? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Please oh, right. Me. The the flower interaction. I have to roll. <laughs> oh. We're so lost. I guess that's the end of my turn. Because <laughs> I'm still looking for them. Oh. <laughs> this is why I was a good idea to send a blind person to go out and search. Uh, you... You, you're you're free. You're free to continue like uh, interacting to try and get them. Uh, we should probably wrap this up though. Okay. Zedin is simply witnessing the flower and mold small conversation, potential romance, and just write, <laughs> writing down writing down everything, and attempting to interpret the uh, the dialect of sorts being shared. Oh yeah, Kip, you, you all right? <laughs> uh, are we switching back to us, or do you want to keep? Because I don't want to interrupt you with stuff that we're doing. Eh. Zevin's just watching. Right? Zevin's just watching. Why don't you That's just, just like type out while like you yeah, guys man. keep? Okay. We can just keep having <laughs> role play in the chat. It's great. Oh shoot, I'm still sleeping. I'm like, I shift and I stick a singular paw in Kip's face. Just enough to be an annoyance. Uh, Kip uh, would kind of just have an armful of dog. And, uh, look at Cat, kind of like, this is fine. And, uh, respond, um, this looks oddly this sus. Uh, yeah, um, so, we need you guys back at the place that we were just resting out, uh, I, I guess, Can you fall out of another Neo tree? Neo or something like that <laughs> is waiting for us, so, um, yeah, are you good to go? Uh, can I attempt to pick up the dog with the, like, apron that I draped around them as a blanket? So that I, I will not get stuck if you I you may. Can I roll for okay. their advantage because I'm okay with this this time around and I'm like, <laughs> like I yes. know I'm laying on them. Yeah, what would I roll? Uh, you uh you both would roll a uh a D eight in bravery. Uh, together you have to pass a eight. Oh, oh, you got an eight automatically. Dang. 
I accidentally Three. picked it up again, so I can run the oh. second <laughs> But yeah. I accidentally picked it up again, so I can roll the second roll, but... You successfully... Gotta... You successfully pick up the dog. You got an arm full of dog, bro. Good job. Oh, Congrats. Okay. okay. Okay, then. I will just, uh, follow... Cat. Cat. Okay. You got it? Yeah, you got it. Oh. Should we think about getting a dog bed? I'm, I'm tired of laying on the floor, guys. It's very oh, fun oh, ow. and dirty. Ow, ow, I'm <laughs> Oh god, don't let me have a bed. I vote for one of those baby carriers that we can just put the dog into. <laughs> yes, a very large baby carrier for a slimy dog. I mean, I could get in the fountain and I could be smaller. Because yeah. then, like, I get, I get down to, like, chihuahua size. And I go up to, like, grizzly bear, so. Yeah. I average at around, like, I don't know, Great Dane. That's a big dog, ain't it? I feel like it's a yeah. big dog. Hey, we did it. It only took two hours. Yeah. <laughs> two hours. I can't see. <laughs> I'm Whoa. blind again. Yay. You got some lucky uh, blindness, cat. Neil, Neil would uh, make his way into the, into the room, uh, seeing everyone there, um, and, uh, Slow, slowly, slowly beckoning um, uh, Eleanor to come in beside him as he uh, ra wraps his arm around her shoulder and starts to speak. Well, very well. It is time that we connect you to Eleanor's reset. In the unpleasant case of a demise, uh, Eleanor will have your files in order to reset you back to life. Oh, and I have to... Door's loud, too. There's finally something here has... Some... Someone... It's... It's... It's not, uh... What's his name? Aldrich. It's not Aldrich who's getting his attention, but somebody involved has gotten his attention. He's an evil man. <laughs> he kicked me. Fist pissed. <laughs> <laughs> he is quite... How shall I put this? Evil. Obnoxious. No, Ooh, he's evil. That one. Only evil people kick dogs. Piss, piss. Oh, that's fair. Could be both Ele of them. Throw rocks at cats. Eleanor will look at the ground shyly as she observes your guys' conversation while Neo just kind of has a deadpan face. Right. Uh, who, who's, who's first? Let's get this over with. Go be at him, Kit. Go be at him. One, two, three, not it. Go be at him, Kit. Okay. Put me up there. Put me up there. Come on, Kit. Onward. I'm sleeping, Kit. Go. <laughs> I'm throwing you at them. Go <laughs> be. Cannonball. Cannonball. Yay. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! I just blasted through three walls. I had yeah. the perfect oh. angle for that. Let's go. Why? I'm just really attacked by the boundaries of reality. Where did the dog go? Where did the dog go? What did the dog do? The dog has become a bullet and gone straight through the castle. Oh, oops. That's my bad. She's back to being blind and it's like, yeet! You guys like leap forward and then like glitch back. And suddenly reappear and be like, hi! Wow, that, uh... The best. Okay, like, the moment... Wait, I have to roll... I have to roll for, uh... For something real quick. Guys, I'm a really good cannonball. Did you see that? Yes. I, I went zoom. <laughs> you good? I'm... Wow! Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. I'm first, guys. I'm first. I'm awake now. Mm. What happened? <laughs> I, I, I rolled a nat twenty. I, I rolled a I rolled a nat twenty. Um, for what? D don't <laughs> worry about it. Do? Oh, no. as, don't worry about it. As as you yeet the dog towards Eleanor, 
<laughs> Eleanor uh, takes a defensive stance and. And and she and and like guy and and she she pre her hand stops uh Pierre by the face, um catching him, and holding him out as a soothing and yet searing sensation fills uh Pierre's uh body. <laughs> nope. Um. Like, nope. Like into the hand again. <laughs> Kind of just like no, such a hand. You, you, you goop out of, uh, you goop out of Eleanor's hand as a yellow glow, uh, emits around you. Um, uh, I want you to take, I want you to take five damage. Oh no! Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, 55 HP guys, 55 HP. <laughs> it's okay man, I've taken worse. Did you just see how I was thrown through three walls? I <laughs> believe that <laughs> was more than three walls. Uh, El Eleanor, Eleanor would have a very different look on her face than before. Before she uh, returns to normal. And uh, uh -oh. Neo just Neo just kind of looks worriedly um, before looking at Eleanor. Did you get it? Eleanor would nod. Um, oh, like opening her hands to reveal the reset button, and there is a little icon on the upper left of it showing showing part of Pierre's code. Hey, look at me! I'm numbers. Neo Neo would sigh in relief and be like. And and say, she she has connected you with with her reset. Now the rest of you shall. Now the rest of you shall be, do the same. Seven. Seven. Like, I'm, Seven last. I'm becoming last. <laughs> Seven. Looking at everybody else's face. Is, is Mold Small still enamored with the flower and not communicating with others? Mold, Mold Small is completely zoned out. It was trying to glance at Mold Small and Cat and Kip and be like, ah. No, my Wi Fi cut out. I can't hear well, anything. Another Crap. form of immortality. Probably no, would please, make my please, life. I want to hear. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, w all right. I, I can. W what did you guys say? Uh, or most small, are you still flirting with the flower? Okay, yes. No comment. If, if anything spicy is to occur, if anything spicy is to occur, Neo. Neo will uh, censor it because he's in the room. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Zevin, I'm guessing you're approaching Eleanor. Eleanor would, uh, like, at first grab your hand gently, uh, but then as she, as she squeezed, a very, like, soothing but yet burning and stinging sensation overwhelms your body as it starts to emit a yellow glow, and I also want you to take five damage. I do. <laughs> I 
as as you as you look on uh, Eleanor's reset button, you see a little tag and a part of your code next to it as well. Um, Eleanor would look at, um, Groby next, and, uh, and do the same thing, having him take five damage as the pain, the, the same, the same procedure, pretty much, y'all. Uh, I can't, I can't say what the roll is for. <laughs> Um, Eleanor would then walk over to, um, Kip. Um. The same thing happens with you as she takes, as she at first takes your hand gently, but then as she squeezes, a yellow thing emit from, from your hand as you feel a soothing yet stinging sensation fill your body, and you take five damage as your, as a little bit of your code appears, um, above the, her reset button. And afterwards, uh, Eleanor would walk to uh, Cat and Mold Small, the last two people that she would need. Just make sure to take five damage. <laughs> it, it would not matter. No. Um, so both of you, as she touches, uh, Little Mold Small's head and Cat's shoulder, would feel soothing and, uh, stinging sensation as you, uh, start to glow yellow, and, uh, she takes a part of your code, which causes five damage. <laughs> Neo 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 would um stretch his hands before um looking at the crowd. And saying, all right, brace yourselves. <laughs> um, the, the moment that uh, you all brace yourselves, um, Eleanor, Eleanor slams her fist on the reset button. Uh, causing a bright yellow light to fill the room and to fill your memories as all of your health is restored. Yes. Every, you're, you're up to max health. And... As a bonus for being so compliant, you all each gain one OE. Yes, everyone's health goes up. All the way. You heal full health.
Ty, the L, no, LV, you hit the white one. LV, you, you, you haven't gained any LV yet. <laughs> no, you start that one, the LV. Unless, unless you're a uh, Moldsmo. <laughs> You didn't take one away, it's just... Uh... Yes, it's just until the end of the session. No. Neo, Neo would, uh, sigh in relief and give a long glance at Eleanor, uh, as Eleanor slouches a bit before he looks back at the gang and be like, make sure you get some rest. You will go on your journey to Underswap tomorrow. Uh, Neo, Neo would, uh, sigh... Um, uh, seems a bit worried about Eleanor, but not voicing it, uh, for both. Okay, um, uh, Neo, Neo would glance one more time at Eleanor before he mentions, Eleanor will be traveling with you as your, as your guide, and making sure that you are. Unfortunately, there, there will not be a translator to travel with you. Eleanor would sign yes towards you. Uh, Neo would clap his hands and say, and sigh with a great heaviness in his sigh. Very well, get some rest. I'm sure Aldrich will have plenty of instructions for you tomorrow. And he would he would uh, open the door for Eleanor to leave and uh, pretty much stand. Do you guys need anything else before I go? Um, at your command, um, three... Uh, Eleanor seems to do some motion with her hands uh, behind him, and uh, Neo looks at the three newly beds that appeared, and he says, uh, looks like your problem has been solved. And, uh... <laughs> smiling, man! <laughs> He's saying that to Neo! <laughs> Wow. All right, which and you guys are free to uh Yep, you guys are free to finish up your interactions with one another. Um and that will be the end of the session. Hmm, I need to roll again.
uh, knowledge uh, is intelligence. I believe that is justice. Let me double check. I have to reply to uh, Mold Small as the flower real quick. Uh, wh what are you seeking knowledge about again? Uh, that would be, that would be a history check that falls under a kindness check. I'm glad you found a I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad you found a, a normal flower and not flowy. It, it's not it's not it's not flowy. It's it's not flowy. Or maybe I could uh <laughs> I want uh who who is all staring at Mold Small and the Flower right now? Is anybody else looking at Mold Small and the Flower currently? Nope, everyone went mute. Hold on. Wi Fi. Eric, just leave me alone! I'm almost done with the stream! Please! <laughs> the attack sheet, don't you know how cats well, work? I, I guess Cat would probably be staring at the scene since she is on a bed. She probably would chill out until she like slowly feels like her eyelids go heavy and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what I was just wondering what guys would that be. Okay, I'll go to sleep. Uh, uh, you, you can, you can just sleep. We'll roll in the morning for how well you rested. <laughs> Oh, that's a answered. that's a kindness roll d20. You would have to pass a D20. 10. Okay, can it, I do that real quick? And then yes. I, you can send me like a DM to it? Okay. Mm hmm <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to do like a sanity check or something right now? Like what what's going on with mold small here? <laughs> you don't have any sanity to do. Do I have to do like the equivalent of a sanity check? Drevin, you know exactly what I'm referencing. Are we what, witnessing the horrors? Like, I'm no. concerned. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's up to the DM. I can't say anything until the DM says something. I want you to make a, uh, a patience check mm -hmm. of uh, you will have to pass a 14. Oh, that's the wrong dice. Ah, here it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I passed. Oh, boy. How do I explain this? Um... <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> the... This... Hit hold me. I'm scared. Um... Shit, please. They seem to be actively engaging in a very romantic conversation. Oh no. Um, and the flower- you watch as the flower leans over and touches the top of Mold Small's head. Oh, that's- that's- that's not- 
Okay, but I don't know why I don't know why you had difficulty saying they're having a romantic conversation. Mm. If I'm scared. Expect kids me. soon. Not I mean safe for work. <laughs> Not safe. Not safe. I, I was I was I'm like a pretty forehead. Sure that's the equivalent of a kiss here. And yeah, Kevin like threatened this down. All of it. A, was that a forehead smooch? Was that like a little 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 love tap? Probably, yeah. Uh, the flower, the flower would then, uh, kind of slowly lean on the wall behind it, and its petals would droop over its, uh, yellow circle. I'm gonna be honest. If Zevin, whatever Zevin sees, like, even if it did get weird zevin is just gonna dutifully take notes like this is this is a this mold small creature this is an unknown species to him like person or not he is going to take notes he just can't help it he has to research hey and it's and not with that really and with that that is the end of session two uh, any, any, uh, you guys are still free to, uh, interact with each other. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close stream. Uh, so. Devin, Devin will just look at Moldfuzz, uh, good for you, I, I assume. I climb in Kip's bed. Yes. I climb in Kip's bed. We're having a sleepover. Even though I asked for All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining stream. Um... I apologize for all of the weird glitches that have been happening. I I need to go talk to Air. Uh and I gotta read chat. Uh I don't think I don't think I missed too much. And I'll just, just gonna go off camera and I'm not gonna take it blank, yeah, for real. Um Uh did you click that? It's getting clicked and animated. Ah oh, no, not another animation, y'all. A He's mad at you if you don't sit for him anymore, that's true. Um, Y'all swearing just to try and get Neo's attraction. Yep. Uh, I hope Waffle has a fun time. I hope I uh, uh, showed Neo in his correct um, and how he watched stuff and such. Uh, friend fiction, Noah. So don't tell Zelfa, no. But don't tell me what! Says in Zelfa's stream. Don't, don't tell me what. Curl first and then self and then Nova and the hurt and offended. Oh, well, uh, skill issue. <laughs> uh, all right, Sans a cool person, green sand size. Of the well, uh, off you went. Uh, do -do -do -do. All right, y'all. Have a, a wonderful night. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we will see you back next Thursday for the next episode of, of Undertale D&D. Um, expect great things, as I'm sure, I hope you guys had all had fun. Leave a comment down below. I love reading them. I will actually reply to them this time. Um, and have a great night, y'all. Bye.